Hello y'all, as you all can see the title of this video, this video is going to tell you a few things about my locks and how I maintain them. So if you all want to see how I maintain these locks, please stay tuned and watch my video. I will be basically doing a few retightening as you will see in a moment. So I was just in my living room chilling watching TV and I said, you know what? Let me give the people an update on my beauty channel since I haven't been updating you all on here. And here I am showing you all what my locks look like. Bear with me. So, as you all may know, I started off with them very short. Here I'm just using a mixture of a little conditioner and purified water and things of that nature. And here's the tool. So let's get right into it. That is the tool that I am using. I have multiple sizes of those and I am just basically picking a lock. I'm just moving my hair around right here. Um, so when I do my hair, I don't have to look in a mirror. So I just like to make sure I have some front locks going forward. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just checking to make sure I have, you know, them placed where I want them to be because I kind of interlock and lay them down uh, my locks where I want them to go if you guys get what I'm saying so I'm just making sure I have them placed where I want and I'm just gonna go double check in the mirror and on TV you guys see them I'm watching Martin so that episode is funny so that's what I'm talking in the background just repeating that bear with me stay with me okay we're finally getting into the maintenance so I am just feeling for box that I know I didn't retighten. Again, most of my hair is already retightened at this point in the video. So I'm wrapping any loose hairs around the lock. I don't have that much new growth, but my hair, I can't go too long because of the texture of my hair. So about every four to five weeks. So I'm just going from east to west and I'm pushing down to make sure there's no hole. Um, and I just inserted my lock and, and now I'm going uh, from north to south here. And I do this uh, two to four to three times, you know, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I end up doing three, four rotations, so. I'm just spraying my hair here because I like to keep it moist when I'm doing this. And I'm going to show you all another one. I'll be a little bit more clearer, so I'm feeling for the lock. You guys can see it's about, I don't know, maybe a fourth of an inch of new growth. Everybody retightens their hair according to what it needs. And this is what my hair does. So um, I retighten as I feel I need. And I feel like it's between four and five weeks. So I'm just putting the lock inside. And I'm making sure I'm holding on to it. Because I don't want to put too much tension. So I'm holding on to it when I pull through. From east to west. And then I'm probably going to go one more from north to south. And again, I'm pushing down to make sure there's no hole before I pull that through and that's it so that was two rotations again i okay, normally do here two i decided to, to insert a clip just showing you all what my hair looks like overall and tell you all a little bit more about it so i started with uh braids two strand twists uh some of my hair is half braided and the ends are two strand twists so i would say most of them are braid locks so I start with braid locks and I maintain them with interlocking. As you all can see, my hair, the density is thinner on the sides and the front and the back of my hair tends to be a little bit thicker. As you all see, the ends of my locks are a little bit thicker because I started with braids or and two strand twists. I feel like interlocking, in my personal opinion, uh, depending on how many rotations and how, how um, the density of your hair is, how thick your hair is, and things of that nature does affect the lock size. And um, I do feel like me interlocking uh, kind of condensed my locks and made them a little bit more smaller as opposed to someone who just perhaps maybe retwists. And again, the texture of my hair is really soft, as you all can see. So I have about 172 locks or something like that. And you guys can see the parts here. I didn't necessarily work on a grid when I put these locks in my hair. I just basically try to part them all overall the same. 
And to be honest, y'all, I didn't really pay attention, didn't really think about um, the front of my hair being a little bit more thinner. So that's why some locks in the front of my hair are a little bit thinner because that's just how my hair is always been even as a loose natural but i thank you all for watching this video i don't want to talk too much because i've been talking all over this voiceover i'm gonna just shut up and let y'all and like this thank you all for watching